Comparing a table and an equation, we're going to be comparing functions in this lesson, 6.3a. We can compare functions by writing them as equations. From a table, we write an equation in slope-intercept form by first finding the slope choosing any two ordered pairs for the slope formula. Then we find the y-intercept b by using the slope we found and any ordered pair substituted into the slope-intercept form of an equation to isolate b to one side of the equal sign. Now that may have sounded confusing, so let's walk through it and I'll show you. Sam and Tala get movies from two different online services. The monthly cost, y dollars, for x movies is linear. The cost of Sam's service is y is equal to 5x plus 1. The cost of Tala's service is shown below in the table. So we have Sam's as an equation and we have Tala's as a table. So here we have Tala's service. This is her table of her monthly cost of movies. We can write an equation to represent the monthly cost of Tala's service. We choose any two ordered pairs from the table to find the slope. So I chose this one and this one. This is going to be our second. This is going to be our first. We have x1, y1, and x2, y2. And this is our first x. This is our first y. This is our second x, this is our second y. We use the slope formula and we do 12 minus 6, 12 minus 6, and 2 minus 1, and we get 6 over 1. We know the slope is 6. Now we find the y-intercept b by using this slope 6 and any point with the slope-intercept form of an equation as y is equal to mx plus b. For our equation, we know m, the slope, is 6. We use an ordered pair for the x and y values. I chose 2, 12. So now we're going to be finding the y-intercept b. We have our slope-intercept form. We substitute the values into the equation. We have 12 for y and 2 for x. That's going to give us 6 times 2, which is 12, plus b for the right side of the equation. We subtract 12 from both sides of the equation to isolate this b on one side. We take 12 away. We take 12 away. We make some zero pairs, don't we? Now we have 0 is equal to b. We know that the y-intercept b is 0. Now we write the equation in slope-intercept form. We have y is equal to 6x plus 0. We don't need to write that plus 0 because it doesn't affect the outcome, does it? We could just write it as y is equal to 6x. Now remember, Sam's service was y is equal to 5x plus 1. Now that we have both movie services written in slope-intercept form, we can compare their costs, which service is less expensive when 20 movies are watched. We have Sam's equation, y is equal to 5x plus 1. We have Tala's equation, y is equal to 6x. We substitute 20 for the movie's x. For Sam, we get 5 times 20, which is 100, plus 1, which is 101. For Tala, we do 6 times 20, we get 120. Sam's movie service is less for 20 movies. It's $101, where Tala's is $120. All right, let's try another one. Sarah wants to buy a new washing machine. One store offers the washing machine for $100 down and a payment plan of $50 per month. The payment for a second store is shown in this table. We have the monthly payments and the total cost. So we have our X and our Y. And we can see at zero months, it's $160. At one month, it's $200 and so on. Which washing machine is the least expensive when paid off in 12 months? So we don't have a 12 here, but we could figure it out. Let's do store number one first with $100 down and $50 per month. We have our equation. Y is equal to $50 a month times X, some number of months, plus this $100 down. We substitute 12 for X. So we have 50 times 12, which is 600. We add the $100 that they have to put down and we get 700. 
the total cost for the washing machine will be $700 after 12 monthly payments for store one. Now let's do the second store. We have our table, we have our monthly payments going from zero to four months, and we see the total cost from the zero months to four months. We write an equation from the table. We choose two ordered pairs to find the slope. So I'm going to choose this one and this one. We have our first ordered pair and our second ordered pair. We use the slope formula and do 200 minus 160 over 1 minus 0. We get 40 over 1, which is equal to 40. We know our slope is 40. Now we find the y-intercept b by using the slope 40 and any ordered pair with the slope-intercept form of an equation or by just looking at the table for the y value where the x value is 0 because we know the y-intercept b is the y value where x is equal to 0. We know that there must be a $160 down payment. Since the down payment is $160, the y value where the x value is 0, we know our y-intercept b is plus 160. We have y is equal to 40x plus 160. We know 40 is our slope. Now we just substitute 12 for x for the 12 monthly payments. We have y is equal to 40 times 12 plus 160. 40 times 12 is 480. When we add the $160 down payment, we get $640. The total cost for the washing machine at the second store is $640. Well, the first store was $700, and the second store is $640. We know that the first store is more expensive than the second store. The washing machine is less expensive at the second store after 12 monthly payments. Now, here's something extra I want to throw in. We also could have made a table of values from the data of the first store, extending the data from the second store, and then comparing tables. For store one, we had a $100 down payment plus $50 a month, so we're going to have 0 for x, 100 for y, and then we're going to slowly start adding $50 to this until we get down to 12 is 700. For this one, we had the table up to 4. We just continue the table, adding 40 to the y values. When we get down to 12, we see it's 640. We know store 2 is less after 12 months. Okay, we're finished with 6.3a. We're moving on to b, comparing a table and a graph. So, if you're looking at a table, just remember that the y-intercept b is the y value where the x value is 0 but it's very good to know how to find the y-intercept b by using the slope you find and any ordered pair substituted into the slope form of an equation so you can isolate that b to one side of the equal sign. Have a wonderful day, and please join me for the second part of the lesson. Bye.